Hello everyone I hope you are doing well Today let me take you to a place in Coimbatore Tamil Nadu You might have already guessed it by now Yes it is Satguru Shisha Foundation We travel to Coimbatore by bus and Gandipuram bus stand was our drop off location Isa Foundation is located approximately 30 kilometers west of Coimbatore Tamil Nadu There are taxis as well as direct buses between Coimbatore and Isha Foundation. The Gandhipuram bus stand offers bus facilities throughout the day. So when you get there, please look for bus number 14C or 14D or 14G which operates regularly to and from Gandhipuram. It was still very dark when we boarded the bus at around 5:40 in the morning. and the ride took us approximately an hour to reach our destination the place is a hidden gem where the serenity of the natural world unfolds although it was early morning the bus was fully crowded we were there to stay but most people arrive early in the morning and return home by the evening After getting off the bus, the first thing we did was to go through a security check and have our bags scanned. You can see that the place is well maintained and here I am putting the arrows to indicate the place where you should scan your bags. There's also a restaurant or you can call it a canteen which is bustling throughout the day. This is the main entrance of the place where you can observe people coming and going. There are security guards who will request your booking IDs. It is a remarkably tranquil location nestled amidst the abundant embrace of nature with lush green surroundings on each side. There are stalls here although they are closed at this early hour. If you proceed straight you will reach the Adi Yogi Alayam which is where Satguru resides. However, our destination lies to the left. Here I should inform you that you can book your stay online at Isha Stay and they will verify all the required documents providing you with a booking ID. Filming inside is strictly prohibited and volunteers will frequently remind you to disconnect yourself from your gadgets and fully immerse yourself in the experience. This is the reception area which they call the welcome point where we presented our booking IDs and finalized the remaining details. They provide a bend to every visitor staying here to enhance the quality of their services. Next to the welcome point is the bus stop from where you are picked up for your accommodation. Let me inform you two things here. First, regarding the bus from Gandhipuram bus stand to Isha Foundation that there are buses available from 5 in the morning until 10 at night both to and from Gandhipuram bus stand which you can easily catch i will include a picture of the bus timings and the bus numbers at the end of the video and second regarding the bus services within the Isha Foundation campus the people who stay here get the facility of a bus from this campus to their accommodation throughout the day feeling a bit confused right let me clarify the first set of red steps indicates the path from bus 14c or 14d or 14g whichever you have taken to the security check following that the purple steps outline the route from the security check through the main gate to the welcome point next to the welcome point you will find the bus stop and from there our bus takes us to our accommodation area represented by the green steps i will include this photo along with the others at the end of the video this is sivapadam 
and we were assigned Sivavadam 4. You can see the area of our stay. The rooms come in various configurations. Our accommodation was for two people and it's an incredibly serene place. We loved it and I am sure you will love it too. We freshen up here and by the way it's worth mentioning that meals are included with the accommodation. They are served in the Biksha Hall but as is customary, phone usage is not allowed there. You can enjoy your share of sattvic food here including both brunch and dinner. After having our brunch, which is provided until 10.35 am, we went to visit the Adi Yogi statue. I will attach the picture with all these details too in the end along with the rest. One can opt for the cards but we prefer to go on foot. You can feel from the previous clip how peaceful and serene the place is. I cannot truly explain the aura in this place. It is simply breathtaking. Additionally. Let me inform you that there are several spaces you should visit here. The Adiyogi and Dhyanalinga premises are open from 6 in the morning to 8 at night. There is the Spanda Hall and Garden, a meditation hall and a program facility. Visitors can take a dip in one of the two Tirtha Kundas, the Chandra Kund for women and the Surya Kund for men. In the evening, there is a leisure show at Adi Yogi, but before that, we had our complimentary dinner, which starts at 6.50 pm. This is how it looks from the other side. After the laser show, you can suddenly see the crowd vanish. Most of them were daytime visitors who left to catch their buses to Gandhipuram bus station. So that concludes our day. Afterwards, we took the bus and returned to Shivapadam 4. The next day, we had to head back home, so we had our breakfast, returned the keys right there, and made our way to the bus stand. We boarded the 14C bus to Gandhipuram, and that wraps up our journey for this time. Don't forget to check the bus temperature timings, map of Isha Foundation, and the other general rules at the end of the video. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.